For better or worse, professional League of Legends players are always under the microscope. Viewers not only remember the amazing outplays and victories, but also misplays and failed flashes. And some plays are so spectacular that the player who initially pulled it off has it forever associated with them. Here are five unforgettable plays, copyrighted by League of Legends Pro. Number 5. Considered one of the greatest mid laners of all time, Messiah made his mark on Twisted Fate. Although a very straightforward champion, Messiah mastered TF to the point where it became a must ban. So much so that he went unbeaten on the champ for a long while. Messiah's golden moment was when he popularized the TF combo of Destiny Gate into Zhonya's Hourglass. The play would draw out several key abilities from the opposing team and would bait them into suboptimal situations. Number 4 Yellowstar will undoubtedly go down as one of the best supports of all time, as he led Fnatic to several first place finishes in EU. However, he will also be remembered for an absolutely horrible sequence of plays on Thresh. In the 2014 EU LCS Spring Split, Yellowstar attempted to make a big play against Alliance. Hanging onto that position, there is a flash in the hook. Wow. wow. A flash of nothing really from Yellow, so you see his player cam there shaking his head. That was not as intended from him. Wow is right. Errant hook, missed box, and a whiffed flay. Now known as the Yellow Star. Number 3. One of North America's early stars was an unpredictable and controversial figure. St. Vicious was constantly getting into arguments with teammates, but his shot calling ability on the rift made up for it. Unfortunately for him, he was also known for missing smites on dragons and barons. So much so that it warranted a website, when did Saint last miss smite .com. Saint should be able to secure this one. Should. Oh no! Oh, Dragon goes over to Cloud9, Meteos eats it alive with the boar! Whether Smite Vicious or Saint Vicious, despite being a longtime mainstay on Curse, he'll forever be associated with failing to secure key objectives. Number 2. Now back to the plays that you want to be named after. Lee Sin has almost always been a relevant champion on the competitive stage, but Insect was the first to really show what he could do. As a jungler for KT Rolster, Insect debuted the Lee Sin combo against MVP Ozone. All right. Let's take a look at this right now. So Insect just going to go ahead and bounce with the Q, the look Under at the, the ward. ward, and then immediately back. He's like, <laughs> the geometry that runs through this guy's head. Wow. The complicated combo of landing a Q, ward jumping, then kicking an enemy toward your team originated with Insect. The move has since become commonplace, but Insect was the first to show off the mechanical abilities of Lee Sin. Number 1 Xpeke was one of the earliest stars in Europe as the mid laner of Fnatic. The team gained a lot of attention and hype quickly as they won the Riot Season 1 championship. But Xpeke's fame really took off at IEM Katowice in 2013. Fnatic and SK Gaming met in the group stage and the ending would go down in history. Xpeke's trying to take the Nexus down. Is anyone going to be able to deal with this one? Catches him with another X. He's very low. No! Still to this day, any backdoor, whether incredible or lackluster, is nicknamed the Expeke, after he shocked the world with his Cassidy outplay. 